Jackie Johnstone from JackieJohnstone.com and I'm going to show you how to make a custom Facebook cover photo using PicMonkey. PicMonkey is a fantastic free online photo editing software. So you just have to go to PicMonkey.com and once you're here we're going to press on create a collage. And the little monkey's doing his thing and uh, a little collage pops up, but what we actually want is to change the layout. So we're going to go to this little layouts tab here on the left, and there's lots of different layouts to choose from, but there's actually some pre-done ones for Facebook. So this is what we want, Facebook cover, and you'll see that there's a couple of different um, pre-set up collages, so experiment with them. They're pretty fun to play around with. I'm going to pick a simple one to start off with here, and you'll see that we've got three uh, slots here for pictures and that our canvas is 851 pixels by 315 pixels which is the exact size of Facebook cover photo so it's totally perfect it's doing the work for you so you can either go to open here to open some pictures from your computer or you can go over to this little images tab now I've already and press open I've already loaded in some pictures from my computer just to make it faster so I'm going to drag in a couple of pictures here just so you can see what it would look like so these are pictures of um, Bordeaux, which is my, um, my city here that I live in with my husband. Um, and so automatically you already have something that's pretty neat and beautiful. You have tons of options here if you want to keep these photos in. You can resize the, the frames uh, to suit your pictures. You can pop in extra frames. So say I want to put this in above these two. See these little bars that show up here? that shows where the picture is going to pop in. So I want, I can pop it in right here above this um, other photo and then readjust that. Um, or I could have put it in the, the middle here between these two. Of course, now I've got to grab it again. So I could put it, I can just put it in the middle here um, and that'll make it full size and I can delete this. Um, so we have something that looks like that, for example. If I don't like it, I can just press the X and even remove the frame. Um, so you have lots of options. Uh, just before I move on and start making the actual cover photo, I just want to show you here on the left, if you click on the palette there, it goes to background. Um, and background is this white part. So you can change the color of it, uh, depending on what your image is and what you want in the background. Um, you can change the photo so that they have rounded edges um, if you if you like the look of that. Uh, you can also change the spacing. So you can make it non-existent. You can make it really large. So just fly around with that um, until you're happy. And you can even make your background transparent so it looks like the photos are kind of floating on the background. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to pop back over to the, uh, the layout here. And I'm actually going to just today just make one large image. So I'm going to just click on the X's until it's one large image. Um, I'm going to pop, pop back over to background. I'm actually going to put it to zero. Um, and I'm going to take the corner rounding off. This will now make the cover photo the exact size I need for Facebook going edge to edge. Um, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to pop over into images and actually drag in the image that I use to make my cover photo. So, um, so this is an image that, that you've probably seen since it's on my website. Um, I could use this for the cover photo and I could put some text in. However, you want to remember that uh, your profile picture is going to show up in the bottom corner here, um, overlaid on the photo. So A, don't put text in that corner and B, for me, having my face twice on my Facebook page is a little bit much. So I actually don't really want my face on this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to drag this image down because I have a lot of, um, of these cool windows in the background. And I'm going to use that for my image. And I'm going to cover my head up in a little bit in the next step. So this is the base of my cover photo. It's the right size. And now I'm ready to add um, text and other overlays. So I'm just going to go to edit here. And PicMonkey's going to ask me if I'm ready to move into the editor. And I am. So I'm going to go open. And it automatically is going to bring me into the text field to add text. And I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, you have a lot of different options here for effects.
text that you can add to the image, for example, uh, if you want to crop or rotate or that kind of stuff, resize. You've got um, kind of filters like Instagram type stuff if you want. Um, I'm not going to do that today, but play around with it. There's lots of really cool ones. Um, and then here, this little guy, these are overlays. There's lots of different uh, patterns and shapes and things that you can put on your image. But what I'm going to use is the geometric one. I'm going to pick the rectangle. Now it looks really ugly like this, but you can stretch it to any size that you want. So I'm going to use it kind of like a banner across the bottom here, A to hide my head and B to put some text on in a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to go with like this teal color. This isn't the exact color that I used on my website, but whatever, it's close enough. You can put a color code in here if you've got like the hex code that you know is the color you like to use on your website. Um, and so now I have that little um, banner ready to go. I could also um, use these kind of transparent. So if I wanted to highlight some text about a program or something, I might want to use one of these a little bit transparent with some text over it. Um, but today I'm just going to press delete on that. Uh, there are lots of different shapes. Um, they even have like bubbles and uh, symbols and all that kind of stuff. So definitely play around with it. I want to add an arrow to my shape. Um, I'm actually going to spin it like this because I want it to point at the like button on my page. And I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller. So you can just grab it, move it, however you want to do it. I'm going to leave it right about there in the image. And I'm going to make it like an orange color. Ugh, not a great orange. There we go. Something like that. Close enough. Um, I'm going to make that an orange color. So I'm going to leave that right there. So now I'm ready to start adding text. I'm going to go to the little P, which is the text. And you can choose any, um, any of the fonts that are listed here. Anything with a little crown next to it. It's a premium feature. So that's for paid PicMonkey accounts. Um, so you want to stick with uh, with the free one. So I'm going to go with this Lobster 2 font. I'm going to click Add Text, and then all you have to do is start typing. So I'm going to type in my name, and I want to go with uh, slightly off black, Oops, not red, slightly gray. So I'm going to go with the gray like that, and then I'm going to just make this like the size that I want. So you can just grab it, drag it, put it wherever you want. You can always adjust it later before you save. I'm just going to do that for right now. Um, then I'm going to grab a different font, add a different text box in here. I'm going to put my tagline. And to make a, a separate line, I'm pressing Shift Enter, and that will go down to the next line. And again, I want to make this a slightly different color, so I'm going to highlight this. We're going to go with that kind of a teal again, if I can find it, here we go, teal, close enough, um, I would want to make these match, but, uh, but for right now it doesn't really matter. So now I have that, and I can, again, make this one as big or as small as I want, drag it wherever I like, I want to actually left align it, so I'm going to click on the left align here, and I want to make it fit, um, just for design, I want to make it fit under under my last name. So I'm just going to play with the size until it looks the way that I want. I'm going to put that there. And now we're going to put some text in this little uh, teal box, or over top of this little teal box. Um, I'm going to, again, I'm going to pick this uh, lobster font here. I'm going to add text. And I'm going to type in the box, create social media you can be proud of because that's what I want to help you do. Um, and then what I'm going to do to make this all in one line is just drag this box bigger and put it down here by the arrow. Now I want to make the font size larger so that it fills the box. So I can grab this here. Try, I don't know if that's going to be too big. Try this. So we'll try that. And again, I need to make the box slightly longer because I want to make the box slightly longer so that it all fits on one line. And I'm just going to be a little bit fancy in here. I'm going to make these two different colors. So I'm going to make this one white. And I'm going to make this that kind of an orange color. And I'm going to make that italic just so that it stands out. 
Oh, I guess I can't make that italic in this form. But anyway, okay, so it stands out already because it's in a different, different color. So again, you can drag this until it's like the size that you want and the position that you want. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's going to stand out quite a bit. And it's got our nice little arrow and my profile picture is going to pop up over here. So now I'm happy and I'm ready to go. And all I have to do is press save and pick a file name here. So I'm just going to call it Facebook cover. PNG or JPEG, either work on Facebook. Um, so I'll just leave that and press save to my computer. And I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And I'm ready to go. So now that's saved and I can go and upload it to Facebook. So let's just take a look at my Facebook cover photo. So this is one I made um, a few weeks back actually, so I spent a tiny bit more time tweaking it. Um, but it's basically the same thing and you can do it all in PicMonkey. Remember that there's now no uh, limit to the amount of text you can have on your Facebook page, so on your cover photo. So you can use it to promote what you do, um, any ebooks or products you have, perhaps a program that you're selling, or um, your newsletter. I'm so excited to see what you create with your cover, your custom case Facebook cover photos. So please leave me a note in the comments and uh, put a link in there to your Facebook page so I can check it out and everyone else can as well. Thank you so much and I hope you found this helpful. Mm -hmm.